Alright, yo, what's good, y'all? So today we're going to be talking about Christmas. And I'm not going to get so deep into conspiracies because I didn't get too much information about these conspiracies. I just always heard certain things, you know what I'm saying? And how and where Christmas comes from is so de- derived back into history that it's so hard to even think about where it could have started and what it really is. And also, this is coming out a little late. I think right now I'm recording this two days before Christmas is going to come out literally the same day, probably in the next hour or two. Uh, So I'm saying that as well because it's coming out right literally right now. As soon as I finish recording, this is going to be up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a little late because I, I I was going through some things today. I didn't get the time to record this and really put this out here. But right now we're going to talk about Christmas because it's literally about to be here in two days. And in all, I just really wanted to talk about it because it is, uh, it's, a, it's a good day, honestly. You know, it's a good day. You get to see a lot of things, do a lot of things. Uh, I didn't do that much for this year, though. Uh, I'm not... It's not that I'm not in it. I'm really just feeling the atmosphere of it. We're going outside. I, I want to be outside. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the cold weather and things like that. It's not really a gift type of year for me. It's cool if I get something. It's cool if I don't. It's, You know what I'm saying? It's just good to be around family and just feel like that warmth. You know what I'm saying? And watch Christmas movies, Christmas shows. Like, that's my favorite thing this year. Like, that's what I would really want to do this time of the year right now. You know what I'm saying? Um... And that's that's really what it is for me right now. I don't know how it may be for y'all. Maybe y'all are really into getting gifts right now. Y'all have things set up for y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be good. I feel like next year I'll probably have a better Christmas as well, too. But right now it just feels chill. You know what I'm saying? I'll get my stuff after Christmas, possibly. You know what I'm saying? But enough of that. Y'all came here. Y'all want to talk about these conspiracies a little bit. So let's dive into it. So what Christmas now, what we really kind of you know, intertwine Christmas with his, you know, the birth of Jesus Christ. And there's always a little bit of backlash against that because at the same time we bring up St. Nick and St. Nick is, uh, you know what I'm saying, has ties to the, in Europe, you know what I'm saying? And then once you look at Santa and you switch it around a few letters in Santa, what does that spell out for you? I'm not going to say it, but if you look at Santa and you flip around a few letters, you'll see what he can say, right? And then we have pagan, paganism, that's sometimes referenced to be rooted in paganism. So there's so many different ties to what Christmas really is. But what we really kind of think of it as is, you know, angels and the year birth of christ and you know i'm saying if i go back and look into the bible or something like that i look back into the history of it i don't know if this was really christ's birthday you know what i'm saying we just kind of say that or you know i'm saying listen to songs that kind of speak about that but then why do we have a whole nother character that all of a sudden that gives things to good kids and doesn't give things to other kids. When Christ, you know, Jesus Christ is supposed to be enveloping all kids. And you know what I'm saying? Why is there a whole different character called St. Nicholas and, you know what I'm saying, Santa? I was going to say the other name where you can flip around. You see, when you see Santa and you think you flip around the letters, man, it is so crazy. I never even looked at it that way. Uh, it's just, it's really wild. Um, but those are the conspiracies because I'm not going to get so deep into them, but I really just wanted to bring them up. You know what I'm saying? And let's, let's go through them again one more time where we have St. Nick, which is actually a, a real figure, you know what I'm saying? In, the, in Europe. So there's probably ties to what Christmas is in Europe, you know what I'm saying? And other hot holidays like Hanukkah and why some people don't, you know what I'm saying? Express this. And then we have the, the religious background of Christianity where it's like, oh, Christmas is Christ-like. It's a... Uh, This is Jesus' birthday, you know, things like that, angels, all of that. And then we have paganism, where it is rooted in paganism. Uh, And paganism is a certain group of religious followers that have their own different views and how they do things. And there's a lot that goes into that. So I'm just kind of bringing everything in the forefront and saying, okay, these are the things. These are the conspiracies about Christmas. And... There's also demonic ties that could be there. 
You know what I'm saying? Not entirely, but kind of like a rue for, you know what I'm saying, fallen fallen angels to kind of be around at this time. And I'm kind of just, you know, throwing these things out here, not to scare anybody and not to say that these are what I think. These are just like the there's so many tie-ins to what Christmas really is and where where Christmas is rooted in. You know what I'm saying? The history behind Christmas. Because there's so many different routes that can be you know, theorize and you can conspire over these theories, over these things that I've said because they run so deep back into the past and there's so many different things that happen on this day. Why do we have this character? Why is it this day? But we don't even express like that. Why do we have naughty and nice kids? And you know what I'm saying? There's so many things that are just feel made up. But like where do they where do these things come from? You know what I'm saying? And then you have different holidays because people stop celebrating this. They don't celebrate this or they don't celebrate Hanukkah. There's so many other holidays going on. You know what I'm saying? And it feels like it's just around this time of the year. It's Christmas and Hanukkah. And you know what I'm saying? One is a Jewish holiday and one is supposed to be a Christian, quote unquote, holiday. To so where it's like, what are, the, what are the history behind these two holidays? Why are they around this time and end of the year? You know what I'm saying? What, what is what is going on? Is this some kind of energy thing? You know what I'm saying? And then the new year is literally right on the horizon after all this. So it's a lot of tie-ins, a lot of calendar things, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, figures that made their way to have these things set up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it is holiday time. It's getting colder. Uh... And really, it's just try try to be around your family more so. Be around people you love. And that's... I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? We're moving into the next year together. Wishing for better years. You know what I'm saying? For the, but for the next year to be better, honestly. So, that's kind of what we're... What this time is about as well, too. Even though there may be bad history behind what this day represents or what this you know what I'm saying whatever it is is there may be a history behind it but if you can be around your family and enjoy that more than anything that's really all it is that's really all what matters you know what I'm saying 2022 was a, a good year a very retrospective year and we're heading into the new year headstrong we're gonna be good you know what I'm saying and we'll probably, I'll probably come you know, with better information this next Christmas, or if y'all want to dive into this next year, we can dive into this. But right now, I just wanted to bring up a few things, not really theories, not anything solid. I just get brought up. Oh, here's this type to this. When you see this, what is it like? This can turn into this. You know what I'm saying? Why is it connected to this? But then there's just this going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things like that. So it's not really fully like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, this, this, that, this, that, this, is that. No, it's not any of that. It's like, oh, these are conspiracies. These are theories. Like, and it, it begs the question, the whole question about all of this is where, what is Christmas is real history. You know what I'm saying? So we can dive into that question. Keep that in mind. If you come back to this video or not, or if you're watching this video right now, keep that in mind. What is Christmas is real history? Straight up. But well, you know what I'm saying? Happy holidays to all. Make sure you're all around your family. Have a good time. Stay warm. Stay safe. You know what I'm saying? Hot cocoa, eggnog, whatever you want to drink, man. Uh, cookies, baking, food. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, man, just stay safe, stay warm, stay inside, stay with family. Go outside with family. Make sure your lights are all good, you know what I'm saying? And You know what I'm saying? Just have a good, have a good, have a good Christmas. Have a good holidays. Happy holidays once again. It's been choosing y'all. I'm gonna be out. Peace.